are sprues so important? At first, when these files come in, I have to decide what type of sprues go, go on them. It all depends on what type of metal you need to cast it in, or the thickness, the height, the depth. All of these factors come into place. Usually, rings, pendants, things that are generic are a lot easier to make. Things that are more intricate, like under galleries, settings, tops of rings, organic material, very heavy pieces. They require a variety of sprues to them come into capacity. In this example, this shank is relatively easy to fill. You have a half solid piece. It comes into a setting on the top. It's rarely simple to cast. We simply put a sprue on the bottom and we call it a day. In this instance, for example, we have an internity band where we can't simply stick a sprue on the bottom or the top or the sides or anything. So we have to think of a creative way to help this piece come through. We have to create something kind of like the spool of a wheel, bicycle wheel, where we create a sprueing system to give metal equally around the, the ring so something like that sometimes you might require it to have more sometimes two is sufficient other times you need different things for this piece for example it has a lot of dips turns and it also carries uh, stones on the top side with little prongs so the only way that we would be able to make this piece come out is sprueing it on the bottom now sprueing it on the bottom has its complications when the piece is like this for example the thickness of the piece itself so you have to play with it a little bit and kind of create a cage but what i have done is Screw the piece where it has the most connections. For example, as you can see from here, you have it connecting at where the D meets the A, where the loop of the A meets the D, where the ending of the D is just hanging in space over here so that it doesn't break off in casting. And now this piece here can be cast upside down and it would fill in all of the separate pieces that it has here. So you would have an intersection here, an intersection over there, something feeding it here. And this allows the piece to get filled with the metal in one shot and not cause any shrinkage, porosity, and it's also helpful for the people cleaning it to just cut it off in one shot and be able to, to finish their piece.